what's going on guys it's omni arc and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be giving you my cavalry equipment guide for rise of kingdoms now there's a reason that the vanguard halberd is on the screen right now but before we jump into the guide i do want to announce the winners of my gift card giveaway joel tink god luca and chamad you all won a 25 dollars gift card of your choosing and i already sent you guys an email at the time of recording this video so make sure you guys respond to that email i also posted this on my uh, community page on youtube i also posted it on discord and twitter so if you guys don't see any of those things and you don't see my email within the next like two days uh, i'm probably just going to give that gift card to one of the other uh entries because we did have over 300 people enter this giveaway and i want to make sure that the person who wins this gift card is somebody who is an active subscriber to my channel so hopefully all four of you will respond to my email as soon as possible but if not uh and you guys if you're bummed out that you didn't win um if they don't respond then i will give the gift card to somebody else but again hopefully i hear from you and congratulations now i want to illustrate the importance of equipment in rise of kingdoms so as you see on the screen we have minamoto and Tao Tao as the secondary this is a common commander pairing whether it's early game late game whatever you see this pretty often and if you tap the more button on the bottom what we can see here is we have 170 percent cavalry attack we also have 89 percent cavalry defense and we have 66 percent cavalry health this is without equipment right so the stats you just saw this is with no equipment and remember equipment only applies to the primary commander so i put the equipment back on my minamoto and let's take a look at the stats now we have 186 percent cavalry attack 95.5 percent cavalry defense and we have 78 percent cavalry health so that means attack went up by 16 percent defense went up by six and a half percent and health went up by 12 percent so we're talking 34.5 percent of stats just for the equipment that i have on here and spoiler they are not legendary equipment i have a lot of green equipment right now on my minamoto 35 percent of stats is actually massive that's a ton of stats and so if you're using a primary commander with no equipment on you are in a huge disadvantage no matter what is going on who you're fighting or whatever what i want to do in this video is go through each of the categories here so we'll talk about weapons helmets chest gloves legs uh, boots and then accessories and we're going to give you the best possible thing that you can pick in each one of these categories now when i say best i don't mean straight up the most amount of stats when i say best i want to also factor in how difficult is it to actually get that piece of equipment so for the trial of the lost kingdom example this piece of equipment requires that you actually have vip 16 right and most players are not going to not only they're not going to be at vip 16 but they're not going to buy the bundle at vip 16 as well so trial of the lost kingdom while it does give you 10 percent of stats is kind of uh it's it's not even worth talking about really right because most of you guys watching aren't going to ever have this piece of equipment so the best piece of equipment in each slot is going to be kind of a middle ground between effectiveness like how many stats do you get versus uh how hard is it to actually get that piece of equipment so without further ado let's talk about weapons and we already talked about the vanguard halberd right this was on the screen at the beginning of the video and that is because this is one of the best pieces of green, of green equipment arguably this is the best piece of green equipment in the entire game in terms of the number of stats that it gives you this is a no-brainer you get nine percent of cavalry stats we already talked about trial of the lost kingdom giving you ten percent this is a green that gives you nine percent on top of that uh, because it's so common you can get look i have th i have two blueprints now and i already have a bunch of these that i made already um it's so easy to get the blueprints for this and it's it requires such few materials in order to craft it plus only 1.5 million gold whereas this is 10 million right it's so easy to craft this and every time that you do you have a chance of getting what's called a special talent and you can see that over here um it's a small percent chance i don't actually know the percentage of that happening 
but if you do get the special talent to pop on an any item you it immediately gives you an extra 30 percent of the attributes on top of that the vanguard halberd is actually part of the vanguard set and if you see in the bottom here it says that if you use both pieces of the vanguard set uh you will get an additional two percent attack so the strategy for the vanguard halberd is that you want to craft this item over and over and over again until you get the special talent and when you do you want to apply it for cavalry commanders obviously it only buffs cavalry and once you get that special talent like I have here on my Minamoto you will get 12% of cavalry stats and right away you have a better item than the legendary in that tier now the next piece of equipment that you can have is your helmet right your helm there are two things worth talking about in this category there is the abyssal visage I don't know if I pronounced that right and then there is the expedition war helm now you'll notice that this gives you four percent attack and this gives you four percent defense a lot of other content creators have covered the the importance of each individual stats but it seems to be a rule of thumb that defense is a little bit more important than attack however that's up to you right whichever you prefer is up to you I personally think that the Expedition Warhelm is a better choice than the Abyssal Visage uh, for Cavalry. The reason is because they both give you 4% of stats, but the Expedition Warhelm is going to help you survive in the open fields slightly longer, right? I mean, it's 4% of stats either way, um, but defense over attack in this instance, I think defense is slightly better in, in open field. And also, this is a blue piece of equipment, which means it's way cheaper and way easier to forge the Expedition Warhelm than it is to forge the abyssal visage now this is still a good piece of equipment because it also buffs the attack of infantry and archers so you may if you craft this have a use for it somewhere else meaning that this is a more versatile piece of equipment you could switch it to different uh, commanders and still get a good benefit whereas this is mainly for cavalry slightly for infantry but at the end of the day i think the expedition war helm is the better choice for this category next we're going to talk about the chest what should you use for the chest equipment slot well the milky way is frustratingly good it's incredibly good right you get i mean overall it's six, uh it's 12 percent of stats but you get six percent cavalry health and if you remember cavalry health was the lowest of all the stats meaning that this would actually help it a ton the problem with this is that a it's a legendary and b it says this item can be attained from certain events i don't actually know what event you get the milky way from so if you guys know comment down below let me know i would love to find out but this doesn't tell me and i i actually don't remember so assuming you're not going to get your hands on the milky way the best piece of equipment that i can recommend would be the revival plate because this gives you five percent cavalry defense now it also is part of a set however this set is not that relevant to cavalry the reason for that is because only two out of the three pieces that are in the game at the moment affect cavalry and the other piece that does is the gloves and unfortunately there's a better pair of gloves like overall even factoring in that set bonus so uh the fact that it's part of a set isn't that relevant but it does give you five percent of cavalry defense which is very very good now you'll notice that dark lord's blessing and revival plate literally give you the exact same stats i don't know why they did that but the only difference is what materials that you actually need it's the same amount of materials it's just a different different ones so i mean technically you could use dark lord's blessing as well because we're not going to be getting that set bonus um so either one of these actually works but revival plate is technically better however if you happen to have dark lord's blessing uh blueprints and not revival plate you could also go for this now it's worth noting that the chest piece is going to be the most difficult with the least amount of reward out of everything else in this video right and so technically these two are ideally what you would want on your cavalry however they are epic equipment which is going to take quite a while to obtain so in the meantime i would recommend using the milanese plate or you could use the infantry breastplate the milanese plate does give you one percent of extra stats this is defense this is health um but the milanese plate you get from lohar i don't have any of these i haven't done lohar in like a year so 
I don't know what the drop rate of this is because I just don't participate in that event at all. If it's high, then great. I would say probably go for Milanese plate. Um, however, it's very easy to get the infantry breastplate because you get this from the quest. You get this from courier. This is incredibly easy to obtain. So more than likely you're going to be using infantry breastplate on your cavalry for a very long time until you're able to craft one of these two pieces of equipment. I would recommend saving the chest for last because the rest of the equipment that we're going to talk about in this video, uh, they're going to be way more important the reason for that is because let's say you have the Milanese plate you get three percent going from that to five percent that's only a two percent difference for way more equipment uh there's just other stuff here that's going to give you way bigger buffs next we're going to talk about the gloves there are three pairs of gloves that are worth talking about here uh technically the best one is going to be is sets or i sets sufferance uh this is the one that i use this is the one that i think a majority of cavalry players use because it gives you six percent of cavalry stats very very powerful this is an incredible piece for your cavalry now remember we talked about the revival set before this only gives you three percent so even if you factored in the set bonus um it just doesn't compare to a set's sufferance it, this just way outclasses it and if you get that special talent on here like this is an incredibly good piece of equipment so this is like your best in slot right this is what you want to focus on this is what you want to get for your gloves for your cavalry however if you can't get these gloves because you don't have the blueprints or you don't have the materials it's taking way too long then of course you can also go for the windswept bracers these are much easier to get it requires way fewer materials and it does still give you two percent of cavalry health and you get three percent of march speed which is really good on cavalry as well it's also worth noting that this is part of a set that will give you two percent extra attack and a um, little bit of a spoiler but the wind uh, windswept boots are going to be what i recommend for your boots so using windswept windswept bracers and windswept boots together is going to give you an extra two percent attack and that's going to be very very good however once you do end up getting a set sufferance the stats that you get here are going to outweigh even the set bonus and you're going to want to switch it to this next we're going to talk about legs there are two things that we can talk about we can talk about ash of the dawn which technically gives you five percent cavalry health which is very very good this is a legendary piece of equipment and it's coming from an event i don't know what event this comes from odds are you're not going to have this piece of equipment you're, you're never going to have this piece of equipment i probably will never have this piece of equipment you could get the eternal knight this you actually get from kvk lost canyon um you do have to get 30 blueprints from there which is a grind and it's still five percent but it's defense which isn't as good as health however the vanguard greaves man the vanguard set is so good the vanguard greaves give you five percent of stats as well now it's giving you attack which isn't as good as health or defense necessarily depends on the situation but in most scenarios it won't be however this is a green item and so you're going to be able to craft this multiple times and hopefully get that uh, special talent to pop on these and that will give you even more stats and it's part of this set with the with the weapon that we have here with the vanguard halberd so by having both of these you're going to get the set bonus as well uh it's just this is pretty much a no-brainer you're going to want to get the special talent for vanguard greaves and that's going to be your best in slot i think you know you could get the special talent on one of these four and it would be maybe better but it's just so few players are going to be in that scenario where you can craft them multiple times or where you just get lucky and craft it one time and get the special talent highly unlikely if you're watching this video you most likely are going to be using vanguard greaves i would say probably 90 percent of players are going to want to go for this it's just it's just so good next we're going to talk about boots and boots are pretty straightforward there's three things here that give you cavalry stats uh the technically the highest rarity is the cloud racers they give you two percent attack this is not worth it do not get the cloud racers the windswept boots like we mentioned before give you two percent of cavalry health which is better than attack for cavalry uh because it's harder to get and you also get three percent march speed and you get the set bonus if you're using the other windswept piece of equipment for the gloves so windswept boots no brainer the edged boots give you one percent attack that's not really that relevant go for windswept boots it's definitely better you can use this in the meantime but 
really this is a blue this should be relatively uh relatively easy to get at some point point. and finally we're gonna talk about accessories only briefly because accessories are for whales that's right if you're looking at accessories you probably don't even need this video because you spend so much that you can craft the best best in slot of everything um however accessories actually uh none of these give you just cavalry stats this is dependent on which commander it goes on so pendant of eternal light would be probably what i put on my minamoto because you get an extra uh, skill damage with him and that's just really really good uh Skullis is lucky coin you could basically put this anywhere but really you're going to use this probably for infantry silent trial is good delane's amulet is good if you're rallying but really again if you have these things like you just need so many materials and it's just so difficult to get these blueprints that most of you watching will not be using these myself included so as a hypothetical example if we used the vanguard halberd for your weapon the expedition warhelm for your helmet if we used the revival plate for your chest if we used the isset's sufferance for your gloves and if we used the vanguard greaves for your legs and the windswept boots what that would do is it would give you a total of 33 percent extra stats for your cavalry you would get four percent of attack plus you would get the two percent vanguard set bonus for a total of six percent additional attack you would get 14 percent defense and 13 percent health and that is going to be my recommendation for cavalry commanders now i just did some quick math and let's say for the chest you don't have the revival plate and you end up going for the infantry breastplate and let's assume that you don't have is set sufferance so you end up going for windswept bracers if you did that that would give you the windswept uh buff uh, or sorry windswept set bonus and so your total stats after that would be 5% attack, 9% defense, and 14% health. That'll put you at 28% total stats, which is very, very close to the 33 that we talked about using the epics. So again, you don't have to go for the epics that we discussed in this video. Stopping at the blue tier is going to be just fine. The difference is only 5% of stats, but I do think that it is worth eventually getting there just I would say maybe save the epic equipment for last it's also worth noting not to forget about your infantry and your archer equipment as well and so by saving up for only cavalry epics you there's an opportunity cost of you could be using that material for your other armies which you're still going to be using anyway with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did and you found it useful hopefully i will have earned a thumbs up and a subscription make sure you click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always links to my social media are going to be in the description below as well as my discord and my twitch where i do stream every single week some rise of kingdoms comment down below any other questions that you have about the cavalry equipment that we discussed in this video there's also going to be a link in the description to download rise of kingdoms for your pc or your mac absolutely for free that's how i'm playing right now and i noticed the least amount of crashes using blue stacks and it's free so click that link in the description and give it a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys again soon peace